we've all heard the call. It beckons you to take a step in faith. The call makes no sense to your mind because it's conditioned to believe only what it sees. Primarily focused on its own limitations, it strongly believes that your feet will fail to walk upon the waters. And yet, one must ask, if you could go deeper than your feet could ever wander, would you? My ocean was this channel. I was called to create it to knock down the borders of my faith. But what was on the other side? I knew nothing about making these types of videos. I knew nothing about Christian music, and I feared the religious monsters in the water. You, watching this video, you have an ocean too. Yours may look different. You're being called to start school or to finish it, to start a new job or a new business, write the book, start the YouTube channel, ask for a raise, make an investment, record your first track, start painting, but you can't. You have dozens of excuses why you can't. You look out into the water and you're convinced that this is where your feet may fail. But ask yourself, will they? I had never heard a song quite like this one before. The melody in the bridge is incredibly catchy and the overall structure of the song is slightly different than anything I've ever listened. I still get chills because of what the song represents. Come a long way since the first time I heard this song. I think this is one of Taya's best performances. I haven't heard another performance quite like this one. She was, she was in the zone. The spirit was definitely with her. This song is about answering a call, a call into the water, a call to the great unknown where feet may fail. If I asked you to walk over the water, you'd look at me like I'm crazy because it's not something that you or I or anyone you know personally has ever done before. You're pretty familiar with the substance of water and, and its qualities. It's not like it's concrete, right? But this water that we speak of is a symbolic water. It represents the waters of divorce, grief, a new venture, abuse, addiction, pain, suffering, and anything else that makes you feel like you're drowning. You all know I started off as a non-Christian and little by little these stories started to get to me. And I'm still an amateur in the Bible, but the story says that Jesus walked on water. You know, that thing that drowns most of us. But not just that, he asked his apostle to trust him and to walk on the water as well. And he did. This song is an invitation. It's Jesus inviting you to trust him, to walk on top of the things that are drowning you and to walk away from your pain and your suffering. I like that lyric, calling upon his name and keep your eyes above the waves. Like looking, waiting for Christ to come, walking, to pull you up, and you can walk upon the waters, and then resting upon his embrace. One of my favorite lyrics is, I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves. I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves. In other words, when I'm drowning, I'm gonna call your name and I'm going to keep my eyes out for you, waiting for you to walk, waiting for you to come and pull me up from what is drowning me. Sound design. You just stay in that space. It's beautiful. Nice and soft. Every instrument layered beautifully. There's beautiful movement here. Taya's right in the middle of it, leading everything, leading the music, leading the crowd. Between the bass 
syndrome here, beautiful. Beautiful little build up again. What he's doing in the hi hats is amazing. Going ham on those uh, hi hats. The bass, beautiful. When you sing the song, you're asking to be led to places that you've never ventured to. You're asking to be led to where your trust has no limitations. You're being asked to trust without limitations without borders, no matter where you're being called to. When you sing the song, you're asking permission to walk upon the waters, to be allowed to overcome the obstacles, to get to him in impossible ways. You're asking him to make a way where there is no way, to be taken further and deeper than your feet could ever go. Sounds like everything's coming backwards. Reminds me of just drawing everything in, drawing all your senses in, drawing all your, all your action your outer action, drawing it all in, coming in. Love what she says here. We go where you go. Have your way, seal it in our hearts. Seal it in your heart, Jesus. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. And we walk upon the waters Right at the edge there, right at the edge, that emotion, that expression there is beautiful. Beautiful how she pulls, pushes her voice out and then draws it back in beautifully. It's amazing. That's what it feels like to me. There's like something predictable there, but that reverse effect, it's, uh, it adds this unpredictability, which is very much like the Great Spirit. This movement. Her voice is a lot more elevated, so she's taking you to the next step, to the next build-up. This drummer has a lot of patience. Imagery in the background is beautiful, exactly what you expect it to be. But wait, the spaceship is about to take off. Hyper speed!
Every day you are called to the edge of the water, called to take a step into the unknown. Every day you are called to take a step outside of your comfort zone, to move your faith just a little bit further and grow in your relationship with God. Every day you are challenged to trust God just a little bit more when He asks you to move, challenged to see what is on the other side of your fear, challenged to trust that you can go further, that you can go deeper. If you could go deeper than you ever thought possible, would you? Is your faith that big? Is your trust that vast? But the important question here is, is your ocean bigger than your God or is your God bigger than your ocean?